Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I've done a video, um, sorry about that. So I decided, and I've been thinking about doing this for a while, of doing a video of the top 10 of my favorite unique movies. Um, and the criteria here is basically something that puts characters in an extraordinary circumstance that they have to overcome. or something that is very unique visually and different from what you normally get in a normal movie. And also the plot, that it kind of moves differently and unexpectedly compared to a normal movie. This is not a full review of each movie, it's just a review of my top 10 favorite unique films. Um, and this is not a content review where I review the content in the movie. So viewer discretion is advised if you decide to watch any of these. But these are movies that I find very unique. So kicking it off at number 10. Upside Down. This movie is really interesting. I found it at the dollar store for a dollar. Duh. And I had remember seeing the trailer for it a few years back and I thought that looks kind of cool. But it was a romantic story, and at the time I wasn't interested in any of that, so... But I did pick it up recently, and I decided to watch it. And it's very, very unique visually. The visuals are just stunning in this movie. Um, it's got an interesting premise, which is that there's two worlds, and they have opposing gravities. So you got the one world, which they call up top, and then you got the world below, which they call... The world? or something. But basically, everyone up top is like superior and has better jobs and everything, and the people below don't. And this young man falls in love with a woman from up top, and so this love story then happens. But it's visually stunning. I would definitely recommend seeing it just for that alone. The ending is a little, um, a little bit of a letdown, but it's still a good movie. Number nine, Looper. This movie is um, very interesting. I only saw it once, but it involves time travel and telekinesis, which is cool. I can't really talk too much about this movie without getting into spoilers, and I only saw it once, so I don't remember all of it. But, so, anyway, Looper, number nine. <sighs> number eight, Snowpiercer. This movie is on my top ten list. I really enjoyed this movie. <clears throat> now, if you're going to watch this movie, you're going to walk away with one of two things going through your head. You're either going to love it, or you're going to hate it. I showed it to some people, and they hated it. So, I am one of the people that really likes it. So, basically, it's in the future. All that's left of humanity is on this train that goes around the world. And each year, it travels around the world once. And it's this never-ending engine. The people in the back of the train try to take over the front of the train. And it's just a really interesting premise, and I really liked it. And it's unique inside of its own self. Personally, that's what I think about it. And number seven. Not I Am Legend, that movie is really boring. But The Book of Eli, starring Denzel Washington. I just saw this movie, like, two weeks ago, and it's got a very interesting twist near the end, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's a interesting movie. I would check it out. It's rated R, but it's not, the content isn't that bad. It's set in a post-apocalyptic world, and it follows this one man who is taking a book across the country. So it's just really interesting, and I would definitely Check it out. Live, Die, Repeat comes in at number six. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually called Live, Die, Repeat or Edge of Tomorrow. I, there's still confusion about that. But this movie is basically the premise of Groundhog Day set in a war. And basically, every time he gets killed in this war and in this battle that he's at, he goes back to a certain date and time and restarts the day over and over and over. So it's just an interesting premise and 
I believe it was based off a comic book series, but I'm not sure. Anyway, check it out. It's really cool. It's definitely unique. Coming in at number five is The Prestige. Now this is a Christopher Nolan film, and if you know anything about Christopher Nolan, he knows how to make a beautiful movie, and how to really immerse you in a world that he creates. And in this movie, it's a period drama, which is nice, which is actually really cool, and it's about two magicians who are trying to outdo each other with their magic shows, and that they'll go to any length that it takes to outdo the other one. And it's got a really surprise twist. So, I would definitely check that out as well. Number four is Timeline. Now this is also one of my favorite or top ten honorable mentions. Um, but um, it stars the late Paul Walker. And it's really cool because it's a period drama. So they get sent back to like the 1600s or something during this battle between the French and the English. I think it's the French and the English. Anyway, and it's just really cool to see. And it's a fun time. It's not cliche in any means. And you don't know what's going to happen to the characters along the way, but you just travel with them and experience what they're experiencing with them, which is kind of cool. So. Okay, coming in at number three is the movie Frequency, starring Dennis Quaid and Jim Caviezel. Caviezel. Jim Caviezel. Um, this movie is the detective drama and also a father-son story. And it's got a unique premise, and because of this unique circumstance that happens, he's able to communicate with his father in the past. So it's a really, really cool movie. I would say if you're going to watch it just be forewarned, the second half takes a really dark turn that you're not expecting. And it's just, it's kind of odd, but um, just be forewarned about that. Coming in at number two is Inception. Another film by Christopher Nolan. This movie, I've seen this movie probably six or seven times, and every time I watch it, I get something new from it. It basically is about living inside of dreams, and what you can do inside these dreams. And the world that Christopher Nolan builds for these characters inside of this movie is really interesting. It's got great character development. Um, it's stunning visually. The special effects are great. The characters are fun. Um, it's a really interesting movie. I would definitely say check it out at least once, maybe twice. Coming in at number one. Can you guess what it is? My favorite movie of all time. The Giver. Now, this movie I recommend to everybody. I think everyone should see this movie at least once. Um, <clears throat> it's got a unique premise. It's in this future world where it's basically utopia. And that's a lot different than a lot of these other movies like The Hunger Games or Divergent where it's the opposite. It's a fabulous movie. It's a beautiful movie, both visually and emotionally. And you get connected to the main character pretty fast, and you really care about what's going on. And it's got good twists along the way, and it's entertaining, but it's also something that holds more to it than just entertainment value. And so I would say definitely check out The Giver. Okay, well that's it. That's my top ten favorite movies that are unique. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and as I said in the beginning, this is not a review on the content of the movies, so look at the content yourself before you watch them. Um, and maybe check out some of these if you want a good time. So, thanks for watching. I'm Aaron, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.